Good afternoon guys, hello from Kandy, which is the biggest city in central Sri Lanka and today is a very exceptional and very important day for me I'm going to experience a festival in Kandy which is called Pera Hera and it's happening actually every year in the month of August and it lasts around two weeks and this is the week number one and next week there are gonna be still festival will be ongoing and the Kandy city is actually a sacred city so which means there is a temple called Tus temple and there's a good reason for it because Buddha's sacred teeth is actually located there it's protected there and every year this festival is happening and actually they are showing that tools to the public and I think they are gonna carry it like on top of the elephants so basically what's gonna happen is basically we're gonna experience some colorful shows colorful dresses as well as we're gonna see lots of elephants in the show as well so I already have actually chair reserved in the city center of the candy by the lake uh, so we have a nice place at least to sit and enjoy it so i'm gonna take you through the whole process and we're gonna see how everything goes so i will see you in a few seconds check this out guys beautiful view to the candy this is actually where is the tooth temple is located and all the festival will start also from this location and then we'll proceed to this direction and this is the beautiful candy lake which is basically in the middle of the candy city center and there are lots of uh, police and soldiers as well basically as i mentioned this is very important festival that's the reason there's a big security at this moment so we have also some businesses here i can see maggi so if you want to get a quick soup if you want to get some snacks for the show as well you can do that here and i i think this is like uh, the woman area for the security check and then this one should be for the men. Oh, we will be controlled, huh? Hello, brother. Hi. You go this way? Okay. You open my bag? Only shirt and uh, phones. Yeah. Shirt and phone. Yeah, phone and uh, hoodie. <laughs> Excuse me? Stop video? Yeah, no recording? No recording. Okay, okay. So they basically asked me to stop recording because they basically checked everything, my pockets and everything else. So they are, as I said, this highly protected area right now. And these are the people just sitting on the floor waiting for the show to happen. Yes, brother, how are you? Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Magra. Magra, what are you doing? You are an uh, organizer? No, a sales cooking. Sales? Sales cooking. Ah, you are selling tickets. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. See you. And I actually have a seat somewhere right there. I booked, I paid uh, approximately 8,000 Sri Lankan rupees for uh, just one chair to have the nice view. It's crazy, but uh, those are the prices between 5,000, 6,000, 8,000. They actually asked me for 10,000, but I got it down to 8,000. So it's approximately 22 American dollars to get the seat. How are you guys? How are you? Good? Excited for the show? <laughs> nice. So I need to find a way basically to go to that direction because we have a ticket, we have a seat as well. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place to cross to the other side, probably not. Maybe let's ask Kus. There's a police lady, we can ask how to get to other side. Hi, I can go to other side? Yes? Okay, thank you. So, apparently it's possible. Ah, it's a lifeguard. Lifesaver, oh my god. Like people are basically picnicking here. I don't know how to get to the other side. Maybe there's a way close to the Tus temple, possibly. Hello, brother. How can I pass to the other side? From there? Yeah, okay, thank you. 
So we need to go proceed further, the two temple direction, and then we will pass to the other side. I can see lots of tourists here actually. And then along the way, you can see lots of seats, and most of them are already taken, <laughs> even though show will start in like in one hour or so. Oh, human traffic. <laughs> you are I'm, I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording you. right now. <laughs> you good? Yeah, yeah I, I like you. Nice with you. I thank you so page. much. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I go to get, to take my seat here. Okay. See, See you. you. After like 20 minutes, I might finally manage to get to the other side. Hello, guys. How are you? I have a ticket. Ticket man. I have a ticket. Yeah, this direction. I can go. Thank you. Let's get to our $22 expensive chair. Wow, it's a full house. Full house. Yes, who, who do I pay? Ah, the gentleman, okay. Oh, how do I get there? It's like super packed. Hopefully I don't fall down. Brother, how are you? You keep my seat? Okay, how do we get there? Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Brother, here's your uh, 7,000. Yes, thank you. I gave you one. I pass from here? Yeah. Yeah? From here or from here? Okay. Sorry. Alright, I have it. Oh, nice. Hello. I have an 89, the, the guy seat. I think it's this one? Yeah. But I booked that one. What? That I booked one? that corner. That corner? Yeah. 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 Brother, I booked book that corner. Right. Okay. Let's figure out how do we sit and what we do. I will show you later our view as well. Yeah, I was in India, Pakistan, and I come back. So, you can say hi. Hi. <laughs> so this is the view we have. Just sitting by the lake. This is the crowd we have. I had to go all the way there, and then come back, cross from there, go all the way there to arrive here. Quite busy. Thank you, brother. Thank you. So, we're gonna just wait for the event to happen. Gonna take probably another hour. Just sit here keep the chair and then we're gonna have a nice view. Once the festival starts, we're gonna connect guys. So the show just got started. We have a fireman here doing some tricks. It doesn't smell the best but it looks good. at the moment in this part of the show but I can hear some music is coming on the way so I guess it's gonna get more excited <laughs> look at this little kid and also a very interesting thing at the beginning of the show the people from the crowd they were throwing coins to the road and then there was a bunch of people just collecting them I guess it's part of the donation I believe but yeah it was uh, interesting to see as well people just threw the up from the building and also from the crowd we're sitting on the other side Wow, he's doing in his feet there. Woo! 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 
Okay, this guy gonna do some show. Let's see it, bro. Wow, that's super fast, actually. You kidding? Gentleman on the floor there. Wow. It should be so hot there. Wow, that's crazy. Hi, he's doing the same thing. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Super dangerous acts. <laughs> yeah, this kid, like, he's amazing. He's on the floor. He's so active. And now he's on, he's on his head, turning around. Impressive. Woo! Who is next? <laughs> and then we have the gentleman with flags there. First of all, Sri Lankan flag. And then after is the, I believe it's kind of like a temple flag. Huh? It's a Buddhism flag, okay. So it's the Buddhism flag. And then we have the Sri Lankan flag. They go like super slow, so it's gonna take approximately like three hours. So we're gonna be, we'll be here approximately three hours, sitting, enjoying the show. It's amazing. And I can see ele elephants are coming from the far. So once the elephants are here, I'm gonna show you. See you guys.
have uh, two elephants here next to each other. So as I said, the views are amazing. We can see everything so clearly. But the only problem is that this fireplace which is next to us. And the way they are dressed up is just beautiful. You can see the lights on the head. You can see the beautiful dress on the back. And that these gentlemen are holding something.
Girls and Girls Month.
special policemen, there's also doctors, and now people are gonna rush to get out from the lake. I am finally back in my hotel room. The show was amazing. Festival was incredible. All the colors and all the dances. You can see the how much logistics went to make this happen. And it's not happening only once, a, uh, once a, like only once in a week or so. It's like two weeks in a row, and these people are uh, strong enough to keep going and doing it every day. So the the show and the festival in general have been incredible. But I do have uh, three points. Uh, I don't want to judge anything. I just want to give my opinions, what I think about the overall show. First of all, my location where I said it was amazing. Like I could see everything clearly. There was no barriers in front of me, nothing blocking my view. Uh, I think I also got really good shots for the video. But uh, there was a fire just in front of us, so smoke is on my lungs, on my hat, and then there's all ashes on my shirt. So right away I'm going for a shower. Uh, that's the one thing I didn't like, basically, where I sat. So that was the one thing. The second thing I didn't really like, the idea of having elephants there. Obviously, I believe this is a religious thing, also a very cultural thing. I'm not an animal rights activist or something, but I just felt like maybe um, it could be done. I believe without the elephants, I believe uh, it's very connected with the religion itself. Um, but I just didn't feel like that the dances actually elephants were doing. Uh, it felt a little bit artificial and I'm not sure how much work and um, the things needs to be happening or how they are managing those elephants actually so that was the one thing i didn't like the basically the usage of uh, animals in the in the show but the overall show was incredible and especially the elephants are scared of the fire and there was a fire all over the place and then uh, another thing was um, I was uh, curious about uh, why there is no woman. So la first two hours of the show, there was like no woman at all during the whole festival, during the whole parade. But uh, then at the end, they popped up for the last uh, 30, 35 minutes. And it was just amazing to see them and their, their energy. And they kept the smiles all the time on their face. And they were dancing beautifully, dressed beautifully and traditionally as well. And uh, one last thing, uh, which I have probably questioned for you guys, if you are audience from Sri Lanka, then I want to know why there is no like uh, hype up, you know, the audience, they never clap, they never cheer for the dancers. Um, it might be connected again with the religion, but uh, I was really curious because they were doing incredible work and when the dance is done, maybe some clapping would be like super cool to have. But uh, the, I think that was the kind of uh, the thing was missing from the whole festival for me. I, I've, I felt like they deserved it. They put so much effort, uh, probably so much training as well. And they were doing incredible job uh, with the dances and everything. So I thought uh, maybe giving them a little bit of a claps would hype them up a little bit and they would be uh, strong to keep going for the rest of the show. Anyway, overall experience incredible. I highly recommend you guys to you if you if you are here during the August time in Sri Lanka, you should definitely go check it out. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I need to rush to the to the bathroom and have a shower because the ashes are like literally everywhere, and all my clothes needs to be washed up. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next one. Bye bye for now.